I like the comic books, but it was also, I guess, reruns of the, um, you know, Adam West, uh, Burt Ward, and all those guys. And so I was really obsessed with it, and I would read the comics when I would get a chance. It wasn't really, I lived in a very small town, and there were no comic book shops, but there was a, there was a drugstore. So I would, uh, I would, you know, go in there and mainly just look at the comics. I couldn't afford to buy them. But there was a coloring book. There was a Batman coloring book. And this thing, yeah, it had it all. Batman, there was Robin, there, you could color them. Really all the perks that you would want from a coloring book. Um, and I just, I was obsessed with this thing. I thought about it day and night. Kind of was hoping that maybe my babysitter, maybe I could con her into getting it for me, which really made literally no sense since she was being paid by my parents. So then that would just be my parents ultimately buying the thing for me anyway. So why didn't I just ask my parents? I wasn't a bright child, but I was very attracted to her. So I just I kind of assumed maybe she would. She had given me some Batman uh, trading cards and I thought those were really nice. But uh, I thought maybe that would follow through to the uh, consummation of a relationship, i.e. the coloring book and that didn't happen and one that one day one night it just uh it got too much to bear so i i i i decided i got to do this i gotta I just I, I i'm crossing over i'm gonna i'm gonna steal the coloring book so i get up out of bed it's late at night i figure everybody's out cold you know and i got on it's cold out but i got on my Winnie the Pooh pajamas. They got the little feet on them. Uh, they got a little leather bottoms too. So it's like you're wearing shoes. And I walk out the door. And I walk I walk downtown. And uh, it doesn't even cross my mind that I'm walking in the middle of the night by myself, little boy wearing Winnie the Pooh footy pajamas. And uh, I get to the store. There's nobody out. It's just a small town, middle of nowhere. So I, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm looking in the window of the store, and I can see it. It's looking right back at me. And it's just daring me, it's saying, "Do you have it in your kid?" And it's at that moment that I realize I've got no plan on how to break into a store. I don't have any tools. I don't have anything available to me. I don't have, I, 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 you know, when am I going to punch through it? I'm like seven. I got the upper body strength of like a tick. I got nothing. So I, I you know, but, it, but that doesn't even really bother me as much as I'm really thinking about like, okay, if I do this, what is my life now? You know, I'm going to be on the lam, you know, probably riding in rail cars. I guess that's what people do. I don't know. You know, I'm kind of mapping out my whole life. I'm like, do I probably, I guess at some point you grow a mustache, uh, start using curse words. Um, flannel seems to be somewhere in there. You know, so I, I was thinking about all these things and thinking about my life and and I just, I can't, I can't bring myself to do it. And again, the logistics didn't really bear out that it was going to happen anyway, but I, I, I don't think that was really it. It was really a decide, a, you know, kind of a deciding moment in my life. Like, I want to be good. I want to be a good person, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna steal the Batman coloring book. So I made my way away from the store, and I, I come back down the hill toward my parents' house, toward my house, and uh, a woman stopped me. And you know, fortunately, this wasn't some creepy guy in a van. It was like, hey, I got some candy in the back, and then whoops, nobody hears from me again. But uh, this woman rolls down a window and says, are you okay, little boy? How on earth is a little boy walking by himself in footy pajamas in the middle of the night okay? Obviously, I was not okay. There was weird shit going on, but she just, I don't know. I mean, she had tied one on that night and wasn't in her right mind. I don't know. So she asked me, you know, little boy, are you all right? And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're just taking a walk. And she accepted that as a believable story for no apparent reason, and then, uh, you know, drove away, and that was it. And uh, that's uh, how I avoided uh, being put into some sort of uh, weird sex den for the rest of my life. Uh, I got back home, climbed back into bed, and, uh, you know, the next day, I didn't need that coloring book as much. It wasn't, uh, my priorities changed a little bit. I was on the I was on the straight path toward a better life.